Well, listen, with graduation season starting, a lot of college students, they're trying to figure out what their next steps are. But despite the latest jobs report from the Labor Department showing more than 8.7 million job openings here in the U.S., experts say it's still a pretty tough time to enter the workforce. Joining us now is Johnny C. Taylor. He's the president and CEO of SHRM, the Society for Human Resource Management. Johnny, it's great to have you uh, with us here in person. So, yeah, it's grad season. Everybody's entering the workforce for the first time. Yes. What is your key advice to make that a successful entry? So I'm going to start with a simple word, humility. Mm. Uh, because the market, right, is no longer a seller's market. Three or four years ago, you could sort of demand the job. We were giving jobs to people who didn't really even want them, right? <laughs> But now there's a different tone and tenor in the market. The guy who spoke just before talked about the economy. Yeah. It's not bad, but it's slowing objectively. And so employers are more selective now. And if you're just entering, to the, entering the market, you've got to do two things. Frankly, overcome the bias that we all have, the narrative that younger workers don't want to work. Mm -hmm. So work ethic, humility, being willing to learn things. You may have been top of your class in college, you know, Phi Beta Capital from the right schools and everything, but at the end of the day, you're the newbie on the block, and so you've got to come in with more of a servant, and I don't mean servant in a negative way, in a pejorative way, but seriously being willing to add value to your organization. And that's a real shift in mindset when you've been the big man or woman on campus, right. and you come to the workplace and you're starting at the bottom again. Great advice. It is great advice. And what about the other side of that coin, right? Where workers should also know what they are bringing to the table. And when you say it's not a seller's market, what about employers who take advantage of that fact and they're not giving, you know, workers fair compensation or having their wages paced with the inflation we were just talking about with Brian? How can you sort of advocate for yourself if you're in that position? Well, so first of all, you should know the culture of your organization. One of the things that we first do is before, you don't just go to the highest bidder. Because, mm -hmm. frankly, that can cut both ways. I'm paying you more because I'm going to treat you poorly, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So you've got to be very, very much aware of the culture of the organization. What am I signing up for? How do they treat their people? Do they value their people? And right. if, in fact, the organization right. doesn't do it, it doesn't matter that the organization has a big brand name. I want right. to work for Company X because mm -hmm. it's the, the thing. You Sometimes, the you're, right? Right. Sometimes your best opportunity is some smaller, medium-sized company where they're actually going to develop your mm -hmm. career. They're going mm -hmm. to invest in you. They see you, they hear you. Uh, that, that's what you're looking for. And too often, new graduates, you want the big brand name and the big salary. Yeah. That can bite you. Mm. Well, what if you are already somewhere and you are kind of in the middle of your career hoping to advance, feeling like you're plateauing or maybe not being able to grow? What's your advice there to sort of inject some new life? A couple of things. Upskill, reskill, cross-skill, skill, mm. skill, skill. Skill, skill, skill. That's the big deal right now. Frankly, if you're 12, 15 years into out of college, let's call it, or frankly, even out of high school, you've mm -hmm. been in the workforce. Yeah. The world has changed, and too often the temptation is to focus on, hey, I was great. This is what got me here yes. to middle management, but I can't break through. You've got to reskill. AI, three years ago, we weren't talking about AI. Nope. Now we are. Mm -hmm. So if you haven't figured out how, did someone ask me the other day, they said, Johnny, is AI going to take my job? I said, no, no. The person who knows AI Ooh, is going to take your good. job. Right? right? That's what's yes. going to get your job. Right. So reskilling is a big part of it, especially for that next part. We think of our careers in, qu our careers in quarters. First quarter, second quarter. Se second quarter is that 12 to 15 years out. I'm mm -hmm. 30 something. I have not enough experience where I actually do know something now. Yeah. Right? And I want to be respected for that. But I'm not yet in that senior spot. Mm. So constantly retooling, mm -hmm. that's really important right now. And mm -hmm. most importantly, bringing value to your employer. Yeah, that's a great point. All right. President CEO of Sherm, Johnny C. Taylor. Johnny, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Thank, thank you, you for so having much. me here.